it is your girl Michaela Janae here back with another video and in today's video I'll be doing something totally different than what I've done before as you guys know I'm totally into fashion I love creating designs I love upcycling thrift flips all that good stuff and I consider myself a very good dresser I feel like I have unique style you guys know I'm into putting together looks finding good pieces another thing that I can add to this channel is more fashion and the things I create and how I dress and lookbooks and all that good stuff but today I want to try something different and I want to do a get dressed with me my makeup is already done if you guys would like to see a makeup tutorial on this look let me know today I will be basically doing everything but makeup I'm gonna be doing my hair and find my outfit with you guys so if you guys like these new fresh concepts let me know in the comments down below but I will also be chatting with you guys in my last mukbang which if you guys have not watched that crawfish mukbang you definitely should because I will be doing an updated a new mukbang coming soon but in that mukbang I kind of talked a little bit on double mindedness and one of my subscribers asked if I can go more in depth on it so that is what I will be chatting about while I find my outfit this is how I start usually I find my outfit first and then do my makeup but today I'm gonna try something different I already did my makeup I have reds golds you know colors like that so I was trying to find the outfit to match my makeup so as you can see I have two different colors of hangers I have pink over here and the white and gold over here okay so let's start looking let me just say first and foremost that what I'm talking about double mindedness and indecisiveness double mindedness goes more into those who are Christian and battles of choosing between the world and being Christ-like so that is double mindedness there is a difference both can go in relation to spirituality and being Christian but for indecisiveness and asking for other people's opinions we as a people especially you know girls we have this bad asking other people our friends it doesn't matter because other people's opinions cloud your own judgment and stop your own happiness period that's the video like that is the main thing so many of us girls maybe we want to seek validation from others there's a lot of reasons that people are indecisive I like this this is definitely a must so I'm put aside all of the things I might wear indecisiveness and double-mindedness are problems that stem from other problems they may ask for others opinions because they don't feel like what they will choose for themselves is good enough or they just want to be accepted in their choice or they just cannot make up their mind they give themselves too many options and that can be detrimental because most of the time there's options put in front of you and one is a clear choice but you'll still question it you guys already know what I'm gonna say pray about it I mean if there's two options Okay, so this is red. This might be a goat, but I don't feel like I want to be this relaxed. Also, when I'm getting together outfits, it's like, do I want to be dressy today or do I want to be sporty? Because I could do both. I could dress it up, but I don't think I want to be sporty today. So I'm not even going to take this one out. I say pray about everything and stress about nothing. And most people think it's too small to pray about. I pray about everything some things are small enough that God's just gonna be like okay you can decide and then it's a toss-up this shirt is kind of cute it has some red in it a lot of double-minded people and a lot of indecisive people get stuck they don't know what to do next so they do nothing and that is where it becomes a problem because they're waiting on someone to tell them what to do that is such a problem that's why I said before that it stops your own happiness because most of the time if you would just walk through that decision door your blessing is on the other side of it like you're holding yourself back by not making a simple decision I think I'm done with the closet area I'm not saying it's not a struggle and it's not hard but what I'm saying is we have to learn to move through it quicker so we can get to our blessings you know indecisiveness comes with having a spirit of discernment so this is the one option I don't know if I feel like wearing a dress today see and it's also about process of elimination so I think this one right here is out I'm not feeling this I feel like I wore this enough <laughs> this one is still in this could still be a go this one's out and this is in so let's go in some drawers and see what I got I got a red tank top. This might be the move. So let me take that out. Or I could do my white bodysuit. Or you can't take everyone's opinions, even if they're your friends, your family. 
you have to discern what's best for you that's why sometimes it's even better to not ask because not everyone has the best intentions for you not every tweet is a sign to tell you to do something not every quote relates to you or means something to you you have to discern what is impactful in your life and you can't get caught up in everyone's answer because if you ask 10 people right you have to have discernment to be like which one am I supposed to go with because first of all most of the time the people that you ask they're not going to want the best for you and then some people they might give you what they would want for themselves so when you're asking for other people's opinions it can be kind of tricky because you have to then discern what's best for you but if you just would have went to God first or taking the time out to think about it yourself maybe you could have narrowed it down more a lot of people are just be stringing together words and making it sound good but discernment is being able to tell who's just talking the talk and who's living the talk that's like me giving you advice on something like this and I'm not living it you have to discern whether or not I'm being truthful and I'm being honest and whether or not you can trust where I'm coming from that's what discernment is well, especially in this realm of social media and us Millennials everybody's saying the same thing but not for the same reasons you have to know their reasons behind the advice they're giving you and you have to know how they're living okay you have to decide whether or not you want to put your fate and your destiny in someone else's hands and that's why I could never get down with you know asking so many other people's opinions I'm not saying it's wrong to get some advice on something especially if you have a great awesome group of friends but if you're asking someone with no job and no aspirations which job you should get they're not even living the life that you want they're not in the spaces you want to be in so why are you asking their opinions that's what it really comes down to with indecisiveness it might be a little hot for full jeans I mean when we're talking double-mindedness that is when spiritual things come into play because now one thing God hates is a lukewarm Christian and someone who can't decide you know which master you want to serve so right now I'm just putting together some outfits and seeing how I'm liking it but I'm kind of leaning towards something more fun maybe jean on jean I think I really want to wear this I'm not trying to wear too much jean here but I think this is out I'm not feeling like black and drapey today so this outfit is out it's like I know one story in the Bible probably one of the scriptures I have they speak of having a split tongue because they talk about living the life of being God-like, but really their actions are doing something different. So that is what double-minded is, where when you can't decide which master you wanna serve, I'm gonna wait and read my scriptures until the end, but right now I'm going to put on my outfits of choice. Then we're gonna go on to accessories and shoes, but I'll be right back once I'm dressed. All right, y'all, so this is the outfit I've chosen right here. This skirt I actually made myself. I got this shirt from Stage. It was on sale. This undershirt, I can't even tell you where I got it from. Probably Walmart, but this skirt is really so cute. It's all patchwork. So now I'm going to decide on some shoes. Black is more chill vibes, but this is more dressy. I'm gonna come back to the shoes after we go to jewelry. So let's go to jewelry. Mm -hmm. Excuse this, this is all my necklaces right here I've gotten into layering necklaces so I definitely want to wear this one right here my new cross one that I got so that's a go this is a Swarovski crystal necklace okay so I'm gonna try those I have my anklets now I'm totally into anklets right now that's something we can talk about I'm all into jewelry I always have on a gold anklet yeah, I've been buying some new jewelry do I want to wear this one so I love layering necklaces I've been having fun with my summer looks my summer makeup so right here is my watches I feel like I'm not trying to do too much so I'm gonna just go with the plain gold one right here I'm not trying to do sparkly or pink or nothing like that so I feel like that's good enough all right y'all so this is my hair I feel like it came out so cute as you guys know I'm currently in my summer curl series so if you guys are not watching my hair videos what are you doing this is my old perm rod curls if you guys would like a video on how to do this cute little simple summer hairstyle let me know but i feel like it went really cute with this outfit so when i have so much other stuff going on with my outfit you have to decide whether or not you feel like hoops are appropriate and with this outfit i don't think so so that's how you pick between hoops and studs and then i think about which metal am i going with for the day i'm not the type of person that mixed metals so that means i don't like to put gold with rose gold or silver with gold i like to keep it all cohesive even along with the makeup then i'm like do i want to wear heels or do i want to wear flats or do i want to wear slides do i want to be sporty or do i want to be dressy most of the time i want to be dressy 
so that's how I decide so let's get a closer look at these earrings so this is my more dressy stud it has much more you know sparkle but this is my more chill stud it's just one diamond I have on a couple necklaces so you have to decide which one you're feeling more putting together an outfit isn't really hard you just have to know your style find your style and stick to it okay so here we go with the shoes. Your girl doesn't know which one she's feeling, but then you have to decide if it's a nude kind of outfit. I don't, like I wish the black had the sparkles because if that had that, you know, perfect. I love sparkles. But I think I'm gonna go with the black because I have black in my skirt, so black it is. And as you can see, my anklet is not really being seen, so I might add another anklet. All right, you guys, so I don't know if this was a long video or if it was a short video, but Guess what, you made it to the end. So I do have some scriptures that I would like to add in that goes with the indecisiveness and the double-minded topics. So I want you guys to know that I'm grabbing all this from scripture. I'm not taking this from the top of my head. That's really important to me. So before I show you guys the full view of my outfit, let me read these scriptures to you. First, I have Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth and that goes with being double-minded because you can't be following God being devoted to God but also chasing money and chasing wealth and success so the next one I have is John 2 15 do not love the world nor the things in the world if anyone loves the world the love of his father is not in him so if you're in love with worldly things you can't be in love with the world and love God you can't and the next one I have goes with being indecisive it is from Revelation 3 15 through 18 i know your deeds that you are neither cold nor hot i wish that you were cold or hot so because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold i will spit you out of my mouth because you say i am rich and have become wealthy and have need of nothing and you do not know that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked so like I said, there's a lot of people who string together words beautifully and it's an art form, but really they're saying the same things that everyone else is saying and putting a new spin and they're not saying it for good reasons. Psalms 119, 113 through 15. I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I wait for your word. Depart from me, evildoers, that I may observe the commandments of my God that would speak for itself about double-mindedness first kings 18 21 says elijah came near to all the people and said how long will you hesitate between two opinions if the lord is god follow him but if Baal, follow him but the people did not answer him a word to me some choices are really easy and some choices are really simple you just have to choose which way you want to go and which outcome you want and my last one is James 1, 8, and also James 4, 8 is also really good if you guys want to go read that. But James 1, 8, it says, being a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So if you're double-minded, you know, you're not certain in anything you do. So that's why I really wanted to do a whole video dedicated to that topic. I hope that the fun was fun enough to keep you guys viewing and keep you guys intrigued. I'm going to go show you guys my full outfit, so come along with me.